Hello, all of my aunts. It's Sinu here with the next part of this Slender blog. And I know it's been a couple days since I uploaded the last one. I've been pretty busy with the holidays, and I've been trying to keep up with getting uploads done. So, first off, I want to say I've started with doing Minecraft videos, and those aren't replacing Slender blog. The blog is definitely staying with this, unless I move it on to, like, a video blog type of a situation. But I want to continue with asking, or not asking, but checking some of the questions asked by Ons. So first, this one was asked in the first video, and I actually forgot to read it. I had meant to go and read it, and for some reason I didn't have it when I was going through in the video. So this is from... Medieval Exponents 2 Squared, and it says, I have a question. Are you going to be commissioning Yawns to make title cards for your videos? And I don't know if you're asking that because you noticed on one of my posts on Twitter and Facebook about uh, The Walking Dead, but yes, I am definitely interested if anyone submits fan art and they're interested in having it as the title card, uh, thumbnail, whatever you want to call it, for the videos. So if you just send it and say, I'd like to have mine on videos, then I might be able to do that. So just send it to me, talk to me about it, and I'll get back to you. So that's definitely a possibility. I would love to have awesome custom thumbnails for all the games made by Ons. You guys make such good art. But let's move on to the next question. Now, let's see. Start moving, because we don't want to sit here in this bathhouse of slender death. Doesn't seem like there was a note in here, so we're going to go towards the gas tanks. Even though they're probably water tanks. So, Lossa01 asks, What is the best creepy game you've played? Preferably one you haven't LP'd, so I don't know the answers to all of it. I'd probably say one of the ones that really stands out for me, just because I had such a great time with it, and it was pretty creepy, was Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem on the Nintendo GameCube. It wasn't like a huge amazing graphics game or anything like that, but the story was really good. It pulled you in, and just the way that all of it played out was pretty exciting. It had sanity meter, and the sanity meter would lower as things happened, and the lower it was, the higher chance you'd get these sanity effects to happen. And things would happen, like back when most TVs would just have like the green letters mute when you muted your TV, you'd be playing the game and suddenly there wouldn't be any sound, and it would say mute at the top right. Or suddenly it would go to that GameCube screen with your uh, all of your save files, and it would show like your memory card, and then all your save files, like, deleted and stuff, and it would be like, you have no save files, we have no memory to load. It would do, like, crazy stuff like that. I think one of them, your head, like, falls off, and you're able to go over to it and pick it up, and then it just, like, starts quoting Edgar Allan Poe, maybe? It was crazy stuff. I loved that game. I had so much fun with my friends. And, uh, yeah. So that's probably one of the ones that stands out more in terms of that. Now, Carly's vids and such was asking whether or not I get bored sometimes with the video games that I play, doing Let's Plays and everything. I can get bored at times, yeah, it can get to be really... Like, I just don't really feel like playing certain games because of how much I've played them, or... I don't know, like, the problem is, when I do my commentary, when I start recording, I do everything I can to not leave any silence. I try to be talking constantly, because my focus- yes, awesome. My focus is that you guys are able to have this experience with me, and that it isn't about you coming to watch a certain video game, it's about you coming and spending time with me, and having a great time, and just sharing our opinions of the experience we've had. Now, oh crap, I'm getting some static, this is bad. Let's just stop running, because that's going to attract him, right? No, nope, the static, gotta run. There's no other way. I'm worried we're running towards him, it's getting worse. 
Stop it, 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 stop it. Okay, I turned another way. I think we're gonna be safe. I'm just charging blindly into the woods. Uh, stop following me. Please, thank you. What's this? Perfect, let's grab that. Okay, so, uh, what do I do to, uh, like, combat that to keep from getting too bored? I try to freshen it up and switch to new games and stuff. Unfortunately, I get bored a little too quickly. And I'll end up, like, switching to new games a little too much. And that's when you guys start seeing that I've messed up and I have backed up games that I haven't finished. And it sucks when that happens. I just start, like, jumping from game to game. And I'm just so interested each time I find a new game. But... Yeah, I just try to mix things up and do stuff that I want to do! Scary, 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 scary. Okay, let's see if I can bring up another question while Slender is following behind me. I can't see the screen, I'm freaking out. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's all of those questions. Uh... There might be more, but in order to do that, I would probably die. So I'm going to discuss something really quickly. A lot of people seem pretty worried about me starting to play uh, Minecraft. And I just, a lot of people seem to get scared that I'm going to suddenly, like, abandon the channel or something. That people are worried I'm suddenly only going to play Minecraft now. I don't know if you've been watching my videos so far or not, but I have a really difficult time with sticking with one game for more than a handful of episodes without like suddenly jumping to another. I don't know how you're worried that I'm only going to play Minecraft. I'm scared that I'm not going to be interested in it enough to get into it enough for you guys. But obviously I'm still going to focus on horror because horror is what it's all about. I'm just checking out some new games that I didn't really have the chance to check out before because I had no one interested, but now I have some of you out there that want to see it. So I'm putting it up. And yeah, I'm having a great time with it. Here we go, the rocks. I know that you have a note. Don't lie to me. Tell me your secrets and I'll show you how. So creepy. Slender's just gonna consume my soul right as I turn around this rock. Please let there be a note! There isn't a note. Dang it. Unless I miss- No! Ah, oh, this is not the way that things are supposed to play out. Okay, the silo is somewhere over here. We're gonna go find that. We're gonna go find it. Real, real s carefully. Silently. Swiftly. Swiftly! I'm Timo think of happy things. I'm so lost. I'm all out of path. I'm so lost without you. I've gotta shut my torch off cause the batteries are getting low. This song is so bad. I can't sing right now cause Slender wants to eat my soul. Ah, uh, what the hell? I found the silo. Magic. That's what I'm calling it. Give me the note. Thank you. Ha ha ha. Okay, so what else am I going to talk about? Think about it, Sinu. Think it, think about it, Sinu. I know I had things to discuss. You guys have been really busy in the forum with Sinuion.com going to that forum. A lot of you have gotten in there. You've been talking and discussing things. It's awesome. It's helping out a lot. And I'm really enjoying seeing you guys' discussion, opinions, suggestions, everything. It's great. And I just can't believe how well things are working out with it. Of course, there's the Minecraft and Team Fortress 2 servers that are now up. And those are pretty awesome. I'm just... It's amazing. I'm getting so many new ways that I can interact with the Yon community. This isn't where I want to be. This is the dangerous place. Let's try to get back on the outskirts. We want to go to Mr. T. Mr. T has a note for us. Him and his crazy, angry voice. 
We're at six notes. Let's think. Where... What places are left with notes? I know that there's Mr. T, but... What's the final place? I can't remember. What have we not gotten a note from yet? I almost feel like we've been everywhere, but... I know there's at least one last place we haven't been to. What is it? Where is this last note that we don't have? Is it possible that I missed it at one of the- <laughs> No, why? I thought I was gonna make it, Slender. Why did you have to go and do that? That wasn't cool. Pintle Goose. Alright, I'll see you on soon. And also, I'm gonna throw on a special little treat. While I was in the Minecraft server, I noticed something that was left for me by Minecraft CC and Tortoiseshell. And you guys can check that out now. Hello, all of my ons. It's Sinu here with some Minecraft. But I'm on our Yon Minecraft server, and it seems as though I've got a lame story one left by Minecraft CC. And I decided to record me reading it. So let's go ahead and do this. Page one of seven. Once upon a time, Tortoise tamed a wolf. It was adorable, and cute, and fluffy, and cute. We decided to name it Slindu Manu Yonderson the Third. However, we had a massive dog hazard near the house, a big lava fountain that protected our underground base. Tortoise and I couldn't find a way to get the dog inside, so we left him outside in the snow. A few minutes later, and we were minding our own business, sorting out chests and furnaces, when we heard yelping from above. We immediately started shouting, No! for about a minute whilst we heard Slindu Manu Yonerson slowly die in the lava. We went outside to make a grave, but that was immediately interrupted when a creeper snuck up behind me. Boom! Our house was gone. Lava poured into the base, and all I had to stop it was dirt. Then, when we thought that the worst was over, yet another creeper snuck up behind us. Boom! Our house was demolished. I quickly stopped most of the lava pouring into our underground base. All Tortoise and I could do was hope that our chests, including the chest for Sinu, were okay. It took a while to get everything cleaned up on the surface. Eventually it was safe enough to enter our base where we were amazed with how clean and lava-free it was. Only a small spout of lava leaked from above, right on top of Sinu's chest. I placed a dirt block onto the lava as fast as I could to stop the flow. When the lava was gone, we saw a miracle. Sinu's chest was still there. Dordis and I couldn't believe our eyes. I was amazing to see our base all in one piece. And that is the story about Tortoise's pet dog, Slindu Manu Yonderson. The end. True story.